everyone welcome back to my youtube channel hope you everyone love day today's episode is going to be on how to cut a buyer dress you can see that dress i'm looking at is like a, it's like an english dress but it actually again as a damp part you can make it a bit if you like so i'm using crepe material to cut it out and i'm using three years of this fabric to cut it out so the first thing i'll be cutting out here is the gathers at the down part and the whole measurement here is 60 inches with the same allowance so the gather aspect of this dress is going to be 20 inches so i'll be adding one into it to make it 21 inches so that means the length of the dress from the shoulder to where the gather is going to start from is going to be 40 inches with the same allowance, I'm not going to add any allowance to it because the main measurement is 59 inches. So the bust measurement now is now 44 inches, the waist measurement is 38 inches, then the shoulder measurement is 17 inches. But it's not a fitted dress as you can see, so I'll be adding an excess to it when I'm cutting it. You're going to see it. So the first thing I'll be doing here is to cut down the is the cut out the down part. So I'll be using the whole three yards out the damper so you can see you're going to see the way i'm going to the dot it now so i'm starting from here i'll be using to i'll be removing 21 inches here 21 inches this is where the 21 inches is you can see then i'm going to notch it this way then i'm going to cut it out so now this is my 21 inches in three yards you can see so the all of this now is three yards so the next thing i'm going to cut out now is now from the shoulder to where the gather starts from so from this three yards now i'm going to take the length of the dress which is from the shoulder to the um knee so i'm making use of 40 inches this is 40 inches but i can also add one inch to it because when we are placing after making the gather we place the gather on this it might short the measurement so it's better to add one inch to it so i'll be on the silver side so this is now the length we'll be using here So this is the length you're going to be using. It's going to be 41 places. 41 in two places. This is 41 inches. You can see this is 41 inches. Then I'm going to take another 41 inches. Another 41 inches. I'm going to cut it out so now this is now my 41 inches in two places the next thing I'm going to do here is just to fold it into two first then into four this is into two you can see and this is now into four then I'm going to start my necessary measurement the bust measurement the waist measurement the shoulder measurement here so this is now into four places you can see so the first thing here is to take the shoulder measurement which is 17 inches that's 8.5 then the armor measurement is also 8.5 inches you can see then the worst measurement is 16 inches you see so and this is not the length the next thing i'll be taking here 
is to take the bust measurement the bust measurement is going to be 46 inches this is 46 inches with the same allowance of 2.5 inches it's not fitted as right so the waist measurement is 40 inches with the same allowance of 2.5 inches then i'm going to connect this line together then from here i'm going to stand it down to the main length like this then i'll be connecting this area together to the neck so you can see this is now this shape so i'm going to cut it out for you to see how it's going to look like So this is now the shape of the dress. The wideness of the neck here is going to be three inches, and the deepness is going to be three inches. Then I'm going to connect the lines together. You can see. Then I'm going to cut it out. So then I'm going to open it to deep the front neck a bit you can see this is the um this is the two neck then i'm going to slit down the back neck to four inches i'm going to look, make a loop at the back then put my button so this is now the back neck and this is the front neck so i can decide to deep i can try to lower the front neckline by half inch then i'm going to cut it out okay you see so this is now the front and this is now the back with a slit then i'm going to add my button to it so this is now the shape of the dress now you can see this is from the shoulder to the knee and this is now the the gather that is going to be at the at the knee side so the next thing i mean here is to cut out the sleeve so i'll be cutting out the sleeve here yeah, the, the sleeve is a long sleeve that i'll be folding this into two then into four this way so the length of my sleeve here is going to be 26 inches yeah this is 26 inches this is the length of my sleeve i'm going to make a s curve just like this i'm going to cut out this shape you can see so this is not the shape of the sleeve so it's straight sleeve as you can see and it's not fitted so that's why i'm not cutting it at all so by the time I'm, st I'm stitching it i'm going to take the necessary measurement and i can see the roundness of the sleeve that i want the actual roundness is 17 inches this is 8.5 you can see so it has an excess of the same allowance so it's okay for the sleeve so I'm going to turn it in with one inch then I'm going to attach it to the dress. So let me go and do the finished work then show it to you. Thoughts in my head, a collage that they spread I'll be great one day, going off of my meds No, I'm not giving up, no, I'm not giving in I 
I will make it to the top, taking off in the wind. I gotta make it. I'm saving every day to taste it. I'm patient, but my mind it can hardly take it. So after sewing it once like this, want to make a gathers. You're not going to stitch at the beginning here. At the beginning, if you want to start stitching it, you're not going to stitch here. Just, just uh, start to stitch it, but don't stitch as in those do the normal stitching that normally the white sewing. So don't do just start sewing. So after that, when you hand it here, you will not stitch as well. When you hand it here, you will not stitch at all. Then you are going to pick one of these threads. This is this is the one we are talking about. This particular one. This one is one I used for folding. So this is the one I just um this is the one I just threw it now. So you're going to pick one of the you know it's just it is it, you know it's going to have two threads. The one at the the one under and the one at the upper part. So you're going to pick one of these thread just pick one after picking one then you begin to draw it you can see you begin to draw it like this while drawing it you'll be adjusting it back you draw you adjust it you draw you adjust it so that's how we're going to do so let me do drain it and you're going to see it So after making the gathers this way, the next thing you're going to take is to take the measurement of the wideness of the down parts you want to hide your gathers to. So when we took the measurement, it was 34 inches in pop in two places. It's going to give us um, 68. So you must make sure your gather tool is around that 68 inches. So when we take this two, it's down 68. So you can see this is 34 inches. So in four in two places is going to be sixty-eight. So the down of the of the dress that I want to make the gathers on is also thirty-four in two places. You can see. So what we mean here is just to place it directly. So, if you know, if you want to know how to join this tie, the first thing you're going to do is to join the two shoulders first. After joining the two shoulders, the next thing you're going to do is to add your sleeve to it. Can you see the sleeve? 
I make a turn up here, you can see. So you just add the sleeve to it. After adding the sleeve to it, you make a bias at the neckline. Then you have you had your um, loop at the back. Then you put your buttons. After that, the next you're going to do is to make that gathers around here. You can see the way I did it when I was doing the video. So just place it here at the down part. So that was all what you have to do if you want to sew this particular side. As you can see how beautiful this is. So if you are new to my channel, please at the end of this class, make sure to subscribe to it. And for those people who have subscribed to my channel, I really appreciate you guys for watching my video always. See you in my next class. Bye!